Hello, in the video coming up, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your Chrome browser so you can get away from the boring look like this and have something a bit more like this or even this or this. The best thing is you don't need any software to do what I'm gonna show you today. All you need is an internet connection and your Chrome browser. I don't think we should underestimate how important it is to customize our computers. As I says, it's something we use every day and it can get a bit tiring looking at the same thing every day. And it really does change your mood when you change your computer and customize it to suit what you're looking for. So instead of when you, with this in Chrome, this is your browser, instead of having to look at this every day, you can customize it. Now sure, you can customize it just to be an image, which is fine, and I'll show you that very quickly, but you can also customize it with a video. And I think that looks much better, and it's just a great way of customizing your Chrome browser. The good thing is, once you've done it, that will be there. So when you turn off your computer and go back onto Chrome, when you open up Chrome, you'll see that video. So instead of having something like this, you can end up with something like this. Now obviously here you can see I've used my intro, what I use for my videos. That is fine for me, but you'd obviously want to choose your own. So you could have something really cool like that. And I think that's lovely. It's like, the, it's a real nice blue. It's not too dark, so it's fine. And you've got the white Google there and the search box there which you could just type in as normal. It really is nice. And imagine waking up every day to that rather than just a white screen. I think it's so much better. So what I will do is show you how you do this. It's easily done in relation to choosing an image or a video, but it's about how you make that video, which is what I'm gonna show you today. So to choose it, all you do is, once you've got your Chrome browser open, you just click there. And from here, you've got all these options here. So if you wanted to choose an image, for example, you go into landscapes, and then you've got a lot of different images you could choose, like that. Loads of different images, press done. You see you've got that, which is nice. That's much nicer than a white background, but I think having the video, I just think it adds a bit more to it. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, I'll, I'll quickly show you, if we go back to the video that I had on there, I'll put another one on there. Okay, so one thing you will notice, I'm using a full HD display, so it does make a difference on the display you're using. If you're not using a full HD display, you're using something smaller, I would recommend to use an image or a video that is smaller because you don't want to have a larger file size if you don't need it. Or if you've got 4K, by all means, you can use 4K. But it's important for this, for example, if I did not have this as a full HD um, video, I'd have gaps here. So it's important that you get it correct. So here you can see it covers the whole of the uh, Google Chrome um, browser, which is what you need. So what I'll do is show you how to do that. Now, by all means, this is a GIF, and a GIF is, it's, it's, it's like an image file, but it, it's animated. I'm sure you've seen GIFs before. They're usually quite small in file size, and generally speaking, if we search Google for GIFs, just put, um, GIF wallpaper, you get them. The problem is you don't know if you can use them. Fair enough, that if copyright, you shouldn't use things that you don't belong to you, but if you're just using it for your own computer, who would ever know? But the issue is that if you look at these, they're all very low in quality. So over there, look, 540, you can see they're 540 by 540 that wouldn't take up enough. I'll just quickly show you um, a few more, like that one's cute, but again, 530 by 375. So if we use this one, for example, let's just quickly um, save that image and put it on there like that. If we use that one, you'll know what will happen is that it won't take up the whole of the display, or it might even stretch it, which will be even worse, but let's have a look. So upload from device, animated GIF, and there we go, it's actually stretched it. Um, so that's nice and that's cute, and you can use that of course, but it has stretched it, so it means the quality isn't fantastic. 
Let's see if it gives you the option not to stretch. No, I don't think it does give you the option not to stretch. It simply just stretches it to whatever it is, which is fine. But if you want it to be perfect, then I'm gonna show you how to do that to make it look a lot nicer. And also you can choose a video that suits you. So what I would recommend to do is if you go to Pixabay, so www.pixabay.com and hit return. Now Pixabay, most of their images are free to use. I say most of them because you do need to check some of them you might have to leave um, a note to say to credit the person who created the picture but they don't just do pictures they also do videos now the thing is it's not as simple as searching for a video and using that because you need to change that video into a gif and that's what i'm going to show you today how you do that so if we just put here you can search for anything obviously but i'm just going to put wallpaper I'll put desktop wallpaper, else it might show me some wallpaper as in what I won't want to stick up on my wall. Desktop wallpaper, and it hasn't done what I wanted to. Let me just put wallpaper. There we go. So wallpaper, and it comes up with these here. Now you can see there 4K, it can go up to 4K, HD. You don't want to choose on what's too long because you've got to remember if you're going to put this image to load on your Chrome browser, if the file's too big, that will take some processing away when you're using your Chrome browser and it'll most likely use a bit of your RAM as well. So you don't want to go crazy with the size of the video. GIFs are supposed to be quite small. So here, what I'll do is, I'm, I'm not going to go for that one. We've got a 16 second one there, We've got 18 second one there, that one's quite nice. But I'll go for a smaller one. So we've got this one here, 10 seconds. Yep, yeah, so just click on that. And if you want to play, you can play to see if it's the one you want. And there it is. And then here, you can see here, Pixabay license free for commercial use, no attribution required. So you're free to use it. If you click on free download, and you want to choose, for me, I'm using a full HD display, so I'm gonna use a full HD image or video. So it's this one here, 1920 by 1080. Now you can see it's 7.2 megabyte, but that's actually as a video. When you change it into a GIF, GIFs are generally smaller, but because of the type of video, the GIF will actually end up being larger. So that's why I said you don't wanna go for one really long, because it may end up not working very well on your computer. So this one here, 1920 by 1080, click download. It will either download straight away, or sometimes it might wanna to check to make sure you're not a robot, so it will just do, make you do some checks first. So there we are, so that's now in our downloads folder. And if we go to there, and it's this one here, MPEG video, open it up, and it plays as a video. Problem is, you wouldn't be able to choose that for your Chrome browser background. So you need to turn it into a GIF. So the easiest way to turn it into a GIF is just to use a website off the internet. There's lots you can use. So if we go here and just put MPEG to GIF converter, hit return, and you'll find there's lots you can choose here. So this is the one here, and this is convertio.co and then MPEG to GIF, choose file, blue, and open, and then convert, and then it's converting. So it needs to upload the video, and then once it's uploaded, it needs to then convert it. So as you can see here, it's got converting. Okay, so that's finished, and then we are download. But as you can see, look at the size of the file. So it is a much larger file. That's one thing you need to bear in mind. So the longer it is, it will take up more room. Simply click download. And download in blue, number one GIF. That's nearly done. Okay, so that's done. And then from there, just open up your Chrome browser, click on there, click on upload from device, and it's this one we've just done, 79.3 megabytes. Open that up, click open, and then you've got a video. 
As I said, the great thing about this is it allows you to customize your Chrome browser and also you can use whatever video you like. Pixabay is great. It's not just about the wallpapers. Go and have a look and experiment and find something that suits you. But I do like this and it does stay there. So even if you turn off your computer, you can still, this will still come up afterwards. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe for future videos. And thanks for watching.